people say that defences win championships and perhaps they are right. When you look at the great teams over the last few years, over the last few decades, they have all had elite defenders and they work in unison, in harmony to keep however many clean sheets it may be across the season. In the modern game, in 2024, a modern centre-back or a modern defender has to have so many attributes to be able to make it and be involved at the top level in a league like the Premier League. You have to, of course, be able to defend and put your body about, win your duels, win your aerial duels, your ground duels, win your tackles, but you also have to be an elite dribbler, you have to be an elite passer, you have to have the vision and the technical ability similar to that of the midfielders and the attackers in front of you. Now, when you think of the best defenders in the modern game today, who do you think of? Who are the names that pop up in your head? You've got the likes of Virgil van Dijk from Liverpool, Antonio Rudiger from Real Madrid, perhaps William Saliba from Arsenal, Ruben Diaz from Manchester City. There's a lot out there, okay? But there's one name that I think people leave out of the conversation that should be in that conversation. And his name is Christian Romero. Now hear me out because I've got some really, really interesting facts that I want to talk about in this video to suggest that Christian Romero should be in the conversation as one of the best defenders in the Premier League and in Europe. This is not just me picking an agenda and going with it because I'm a Tottenham fan. I've done the research and I've had a look and the numbers back him up. Okay, what most people see of Christian Romero is the rashness, is perhaps the the late challenges that he's done in the past, the red cards, the moments of madness, all things that as Tottenham fans, we know he no longer has in his game. Since that red card against Chelsea last season, the man has flipped and turned a page. He has completely changed as a player. And now for me, I would argue he is Tottenham's most important or one of Tottenham's most important players. And in honour of him making his 100th appearance for the club on Saturday when we beat Everton 4-0 in the Premier League, I wanted to do this video dedicated to him and I wanted to have a look and compare him to these top defenders, to these top names across Europe to see where he ranks. Let's start with recently, right? We all, we all know that Argentina are perhaps the best nation footballing nation in the world right now. They've just won the Copper America for a second time in a row. They won the World Cup in Qatar in 2022. They have an elite team. Christian Romero is part of that team and a very important part of it at that. Across the tournament this summer that took place in the United States, he had a 96% success rate for tackles in the tournament, higher than any other player that competed. If that isn't enough for you, let's talk about his Premier League numbers. Across the last two Premier League seasons, no player, defender, midfielder, attacker, has a higher success rate in their tackling than Christian Romero. He sits at 82.2% over the last two seasons averaged. That is ahead of the likes of Amadou and Nana, who obviously is playing in midfield, Tyreek Mitchell, who is a fullback, Diego Dallo, who again is a fullback. This is a centre-back we're talking about, not someone that's going to be in all areas of the pitch. He is that last line of defensive duty for Tottenham. Christian Romero is the definition of an elite modern centre-back. As, as well as being a good defender and winning most of his tackles, most of his duels, he is instrumental to how Tottenham play going forward and initiating attacks. All you had to do is watch the highlights against Everton to see how important he was. He played two sublime balls over the top to James Madison that he probably should have scored from both of those efforts. But as well as that, he is so keen to play through the lines. He picks up the ball. He takes his time on it. He doesn't rush. He doesn't just pass sideways for the sake of it. He is always intent on looking forward and moving forward for the team to get them up the pitch. We'll come on to the defensive stats in a minute. But I want to talk about this first, right? Six goals since the start of the last season. Six goals since the start of the 2023-24 Premier League campaign. That is what Christian Romero has. If you want some context behind those numbers, that is the same amount as Gabriel Martinelli for Arsenal, the team that finished second and were one of the best teams in the Premier League last year. He scored five alone in the Prem last season, the most of any centre-back in the division, and he's already off the mark this season, scoring that towering header against Everton that I'm sure we've all seen. So you've heard the base of what Christian Romero is like from a Tottenham fan's perspective. He has dialed in the recklessness, the rage that we've so often seen since that red card against Chelsea. He has dialed back his discipline. He doesn't commit as many fouls these days. He hardly ever gets 
booked. I know you may have this picture painted of what you think Christian Romero is like. I can guarantee you that is not how he is now. Vice captain at Tottenham, instrumental to the team. We are so much worse when he is not playing. If you're an, Think about Arsenal fans and how much they value William Saliba and how important he is to their team and the way they play. Christian Romero is the exact same for Tottenham. Superb at picking out passes going forward, brilliant at winning the ball, blocking the ball, making interceptions at the back. That is him. If you don't believe me, let's go further into the numbers. Again, since the start of last season, Christian Romero wins possession of the ball an average of 6.09 times per 90 minutes. Do you want to hear the comparisons to some of the elite defenders around him and in the Premier League? Well, compared to Virgil van Dijk, he makes 4.81 per 90 minutes and Ruben Diaz makes 3.8 per 90 minutes. So, Christian Romero is making over a tackle more than Virgil van Dijk and over two tackles more than Ruben Diaz. Probably two of the three best centre-backs in the league. Now, listen to these categories when it comes to defenders. These are really important categories that you want your centre-backs to be performing well in. We're talking things like tackles made, aerial duels won, ground duels won, clearances, interceptions, blocked shots, ball recoveries, chances created, forward passes. Nine different categories there. Christian Romero ranks higher in all of those categories than William Saliba. The man that people say is by far and away the best defender in Europe right now, the best defender in the Premier League, way better than Van Dijk. Who is Christian Romero compared to William Saliba? Well, in all of those categories that I just listed off, Christian Romero ranks better since the start of last season. Bear in mind, he's playing for a Tottenham team that were in a first year of a project under Andrew Postacoglu compared to an Arsenal team who came second and ran Manchester City down to the final day in the Premier League title race. This is not me discrediting these other defenders, by the way. William Saliba, as much as I hate to admit it, is a superb defender. Virgil van Dijk has been at the top. He is the benchmark and has been for years. Ruben Diaz, Josko Vardiol, Nathan Ake, all of these defenders. Thiago Silva, when he was here, they are all elite defenders. I'm just trying to present you with the facts about who Christian Romero is and just how good he is because I think people misunderstand him and they don't appreciate him and he is underrated. I want to give him some more credit because he deserves it. Compared to Virgil van Dijk, Christian Romero averages more tackles made, more ground duels won, more interceptions and more ball recoveries. Okay, you might be sitting here and thinking, well, of course he does. He plays for Tottenham who are under the cosh a lot more. Well, is that necessarily true? If you have a look at the first two games that Tottenham have played this season, they've averaged over 70% possession. That is more than most teams in the Premier League. I'm not actually sure if any team averages a higher percent possession percentage than Tottenham at the moment. As I've already said to you in this video, he is so instrumental in what Tottenham do in every area of the pitch that he is just there. Whether we need him to make a tackle, or whether we need him to make a pass or create a chance, Romero can do all of that. Every single statistic I read off to you compared him to William Saliba and said Romero is better than. Do the same for Antonio Rudiger, do the same for Ruben Diaz. Romero averages higher than both of them as well. Last term, he averaged 33.4 progressive passes per 90 minutes, one of the highest rankings in the Premier League. If you watch videos of Christian Romero so often, you will just see him fire the ball into the midfield or out wide or he'll ping a diagonal ball across the pitch. He is a progressive player that modern teams need to be successful and particularly under Ange Postacoglu. If you think about the way that Ange Postacoglu plays and likes to set up his team in this aggressive on the front foot style. Romero is the perfect defender to have in that situation because he also loves to maraud forwards on a run and he often gets really, really far. I mean, we know we saw Mickey van der Ven do it against Everton the other day. Romero does that as well. He has shots. He had a shot in the first uh, half against Everton that he perhaps should have scored from. He should have had a brace. It's 13 more progressive passes per game than Rudiger. Nine more than Saliba. Four more than Virgil van Dijk. Are you getting it yet? Are you seeing the theme here? Tackles made per 90, 2.2. 2.2 tackles uh, every single game. 1.1 for Saliba, 1.2 for Van Dijk, 0.9 for Rudiger, 0.5 for Ruben Diaz. Round Jules won. He hits three per 90. He gets stuck in and he comes out on top almost every time. And then ball recoveries as well. Players trying to get in behind him. Players trying to run him down the line. Loose balls. He is there to sweep up. 6.1 per 90. Compare that to the other big boys of the game. Saliba, 5.7. 
Virgil van Dijk, 4.9. Rudiger, 4.2. Diaz 1.8. I could genuinely sit here for an hour and talk you through how good Christian Romero is and go through each individual stat step by step, give you the numbers, continue giving you examples where he outshines his rivals and his opponents in that defensive third of the pitch. Of course, I'm not going to do that. But the point of this video is to highlight to you guys watching that Tottenham have a defender on their hands that is, dare I say it, world class. When you compare him to these other defenders that people would probably label as world class, I think most people would label Rudiger, Van Dijk, Diaz and Saliba all as world class. When you see that Romero is matching and eclipsing these players, is it unfair to suggest that he's not world class? Do people simply say that he isn't world-class because he plays for Tottenham? A team that don't necessarily challenge right at the summit for the trophies that we want to be. But don't forget, away from his club duties, he's a World Cup winner. Lionel Messi has said that he is the best defender in the world. Ange Postacoglu didn't deny it. Ozzy Ardiles, these big names in football have all praised Christian Romero and talked about how good he is. It is time for him to start getting the recognition that he deserves. And look, Tottenham fans watching this, I know what you're going to say. Don't give him all of the hype. We want him to stay under the radar because a certain team have been knocking on the door and asking about him in recent months. Look, when you're that good, there's no hiding from the recognition. The spotlight is on you and you deserve to be praised and recognised for it. It is Romero's time. The time will come for Mickey van der Ven. We know how good he is. But Christian Romero, alongside him, centre-back partnership has the potential to do wonders over the next few years if we can keep him. Two years left on his contract, Christian Romero. Just made his 100th appearance. Is the vice-captain. Arguably should be the captain of the club. Real Madrid are interested in him. They asked Daniel Levy how much it would cost to take him away from the club and take him to Madrid this summer. Daniel Levy came back and said, way over 100 million if if you want him. Will they return for him? That is the ultimate test, isn't it? If Romero really is that good of a defender and as good as I am making him out to be, Real Madrid will come back for him. And unfortunately, I think that will be the case. However, I do still hold out hope that he will sign a new contract. Where does Christian Romero rank among the best defenders in the world? Well, the numbers tell you he's right at the top, but there aren't many better than him. My popular or unpopular opinion, whatever it may be, is that Christian Romero is him. And you can probably tell with how passionately I'm talking about it. I love the bloke. I love his siege mentality. And there are some quotes that he came out with the other day which sum him up perfectly and are one of the main reasons why I love him so, so much. He talked about how much he wants to win a trophy with Tottenham. He said he wakes up every day and tries to send a message to his teammates that he wants to win silverware, that he wants to do something big. So why can't we? With Romero at the back, alongside Mickey van der Ven, alongside Pedro Parra, Dogi, the players we've got in attack, why can't we go gung-ho for these cup competitions this season? We have a real leader and a real elite player in Christian Romero, and it is so important that we keep hold of him for as long as we can. 26 years old, a phenomenal talent, one of the best buys we have made in years, and he genuinely loves the club as well. He talks about it in every social media post, Every time he gives an interview about the club, about how much he loves the fans, how much he loves the environment, and we love him back equally as much. I'm aware that this has turned into a bit more of a love letter to Christian Romero, and that's absolutely fine. But look, I gave you the numbers, I gave you the facts. Feel free to debate me in the comments. I'd love to hear what you have to say, whether you agree with me or not. I do really hope you enjoyed this video. If you are new around here, please feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel. But for now, enjoy the rest of your week, and as always, Come on, you Spurs.